Hey there, fellow GoPro nuts. This is Captain Dave. I want to show you some things that I just found that are going to make my life on the boat when filming fishing trips so much easier. Here's my one of my GoPros. This is the Pedco Ultra Mount. And this blue knob is the UK Pro. Oh, they're so much better. Camera bolts. So let me take this apart and just show you what I'm talking about here. Number one, the camera bolts. Easy to grab. Easy to grab. Okay. Just pull them out. Unlike a little tight fitting at first. Big knob, big knob to attach my GoPro to the quarter 20 tripod mount. Take the tripod mount off. You know, everything's a mount and everything's bits and pieces. Maybe that's the thing that's appealing about getting into the GoPro type, uh, I don't know, world. This here is the Pedco Ultra Mount. It's a very simple little device. It's you kind of, kind of has a ram mount kind of feel to it. What you have is you got a standard quarter twenty to go into something, or you got this adapter. Okay, you put that adapter on, and then now it can go onto a quarter twenty tripod tripod mount. You've got this quarter twenty tripod mount sticking out the top and what this enables you to do is to move and articulate all around okay so you can move around and I'm gonna show you why it's important for me because I do a lot of videos on the boat and then I made my own boat pole camera mount so I can put it all over the boat, as you've seen maybe in some of my videos. So what I do is I take this, the Pedco Ultra Mount. I take on a quarter 20 tripod mount. I put that on. All right. Snug that up. All right. Snug that up real nice. Then, take my GoPro, put it in the, in the tripod mount. It's a lot to hold and a lot to do here at one time. But once it's done, it's done. Then, I'm going to take my oh so much better than the original UK Pro camera bolts. Stick that down in there. See? This is what's so nice. You're on the outside of the camera. That's why I guess their motto is, it's oh so much better. Okay, so now I've got all that mounted. Well, here is my, my pole that I use on the boat. I made this myself. I've got an old top of a tripod that I mounted on here. I got a security string here just in case. And then of course this is nothing but a boat hook. And there we go. We got all kinds of telescopicness going on here. Okay. But one of the things that I did do is down here in the bottom of the handle I slotted it because all my rod holders have a pin in the bottom, right? So this goes down into the, to the fishing rod holder on my boat and it locks in so it can't twist. I have this perfectly measured so the foam goes and kind of gets into the mount here, into the uh, pole holder, just a little bit so it keeps this from rattling around, okay? Which I'm going to show you in a minute. So I take this 
and now I put this on my pole. And what it's doing for me is when I had just this tripod mount on top of here, all I could do was up, down, up, down, up, down in a very limited motion. Now I not only have up down here as I had before, now I've got up down here and rotating around. This is what I like, the rotating around. And down in here, it snaps and pops in. Okay, so look at that. All right, because all your rod holders in your boat are always on an angle. So when all I had was up and down, and you may not have noticed it ever looking at one of my videos, but I noticed it, is the fact that when I go and I stick this in a rod holder and we're capturing a scene, somebody fighting a fish, myself fighting a fish, whatever's going on on the boat, when all I had was this, core, this tripod mount mounted to the top of the pole, I got sort of the camera off on an angle because I had no way of being able to do any adjustment. But I'm going to show you now that this is so Hollywood. This is so Hollywood now because now I can really move my camera around when I have it on my uh, boat pole. I should stop calling this a boat pole really. I should call it my camera boom. Got a little GoPro decal on there. But let me get up in the boat here and show you why all this really, really works out for us boater fishermen or fishermen boaters. Well, first off, I want to apologize if it's a little dark under here and it's not picking up it, picking this up too bright. But the Jetty Wolf, she lives underneath a big carport. So being out in the sun is not something that Jetty Wolf and me do when we're at home, all right? We don't bake in the Florida sun while we're messing with our boat. But here you go, here's the pole. First of all, there's the slot that goes down in here. Here's the pole holder, goes down in the slot. I find the slot where it can't really move. You notice the foam I push it right down in there, so now it's kind of really, it's really good and uh, secure. And then now, I can do all the moving of the camera that I want. I can move this around. I can not only pan it down, I can really pan it down, okay, just like that. The problem was, is like I explained before, when I had this in the rod holder, all I could do was up and down, up and down. I would have to take it out of here and tilt it, and then it got real sloppy in the waves or any, any uh, water movement. Now, because of the ultra mount, I lock that in, and now I can go at almost any angle I want and I can lock it in and the camera is really there it's not going anywhere so the Pedco ultra mount is something you may want to look into uh, it's really to go into a lot of depth of how to build your own pole like I said I had just this boat pole and then I stole this cap off the top of a tripod okay which has your quarter 20 bolt sticking up your tripod mount and I secured this in it goes inside I got a little tether here just in case and now I'm all ready to go to do all kinds of filming on the boat I'm really excited and I'm very excited about the fact that these are so much better. Those blue UK Pro 
nut and bolt kit. Gives you the bolts, or the uh, not only the bolts, but it gives you some nuts on the side here, just in case you lose some. And then I keep all my my original GoPro uh, camera bolts for situations where, like up on my console, I have a mount, and I can just keep one in there. But for being on the go here. These are so much better. So, look at that. Even makes a nice little handle. All right, you'll be able to find all the information that you need if you wanted to purchase the Pedco Ultra Mount and the UK Pro Nut and Bolt Kit on the links below. It'll take you right to Amazon where you can find all these bits and pieces and so much more for your GoPro video and hobby. It's addictive. Thanks for watching.